got this in my time, love I work for your heart all night to the dawn You stay with they switched up Hola mi gente bella, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and this is La Comida Jeremy. Today, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make camarones in salsa con tostones, which is a Puerto Rican classic dish that I love to make all the time. I did want to mention that today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day, Feliz Dia de las Madres to all of the moms that follow me out there. This recipe is very special to me because it is something that was passed down to me by my mom and my grandma, so I decided to upload this video today in honor of them because I do live miles away from my family, so unfortunately, I am not able to spend time with them this year for Mother's Day and it's really hard so of course I know a lot of my followers also don't live near their families a lot of you are Puerto Rican and I want to give you guys that Puerto Rican abrazo que no hace falta este año because it's rough out here and again I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my mother and my grandmother gracias a las dos porque me enseñaron a cocinar en casa and now I'm able to prepare recipes miles away and whenever I do need them and I have a question to ask them I can just FaceTime them and ask them what I need but they've instilled in me this like cooking chef style lifestyle that I'm living in currently and I love it because even though I do live miles away it is easy to prepare things that I used to eat veganize them and make them in my own home kitchen which is exactly what I'm gonna do for you guys today so without further ado let's get right into this recipe video as you guys already know, in all of my recipes, I always start out with the base of any Puerto Rican meal, and it's basically sofrito, salsa de tomate, garlic, a bouillon cube if you have it on hand, or vegetable broth, some sazon, and of course, some onion and cilantro. We're gonna add to this, and we're gonna give this a good mix and let it fry up in a little bit of olive oil. Once that fries up for a little bit, we're gonna add our seasoning. So I'm literally just using onion powder, garlic powder, some adobo, and also some fresh ground pepper. Once your sauce is fragrant and you can see that it's cooked up for a few minutes, go ahead and add your vegan meat. I'm using vegan shrimp because we're making camarones and salsa, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. You can use artichoke hearts, you can use vegan chicken, whatever you want to use, add it to this. We're going to let it cook up for a few minutes. If you've tried making this recipe recently and haven't succeeded at making it, it might be because your vegan meat doesn't have enough fat in it. So what I like to do is add two tablespoons of vegan butter in there. It enhances the flavor, enhances the recipe, and adds some fat and just like some... Mm. Once you've added your vegan butter, allow it to melt, let it soak up in the flavors, and then mix it in with the rest of your ingredients. Then we're gonna go ahead and cover that with some vegetable broth. Enough to cover the plates, but not enough to soak it because then it's gonna be too much liquid. Allow the liquid to come to a small boil and then we're gonna lower the heat and let this cook out and the sauce is gonna get nice and thick and the shrimp is gonna collect all the flavor and this is ready to go. You like the camarones and salsa, you can pair it with whatever you would like. You can eat it on top of rice, mofongo, tostones, ensalada, whatever you want to eat it with. Today I'm going to be making a simple tostones. I do have a recipe on my channel already on how to make tostones. Basically what you do is peel the platanos, slice them up, fry them. We're going to squish them down. We're going to fry them again. Put them on a paper towel in a bowl or some kind of plate. Adobo and you are good to go. Tostones are so easy to make. Your lips taste just like you. simple as one two three i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and that you guys make it if you guys do make sure you guys post a photo to instagram or facebook be sure to tag me at like comida jeremy so i can see your creation again i want to give a huge thank you to all the mothers that follow me i love connecting with you guys i love your messages and comments i love when you guys tell me that i'm helping you guys out 
feeding your kids vegan meals because I know it can be difficult. I know how hard it is to raise a kid or a teenager. I was once myself that age and I was difficult at times. So shout out to my mom. I love you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Also be sure to follow me on all my social medias. It's always the same. At La Comida Jeremy and La Comida Jeremy.com. I will see you guys in the next one. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Los quiero mucho. Ciao.